What's up, you guys, and welcome back to our channel. Whoop, whoop. It is Wednesday. Go Wednesday. Go Wednesday. New hoodie alert, you guys. What's up? Come on, currently building generational wealth. If you would like to purchase a t-shirt or either a hoodie or either a long sleeve t-shirt, please let me know. And why not purchase something that is a positive message that is actually, you know, um, represent what you are doing right now. Because if you're watching this video, either you are opening up a private practice or want to open up a business or thinking about it or, either, or even just, you know, um, wanting to further your career. And so what you're trying to do is build generational wealth. So why not have a statement piece that actually tells people what you're doing? Like when I wear this hoodie, I just went to Piccadilly to go and get some lunch. And the lady was like, oh my God, I love your hoodie. And I'm just like, Thank you. You know, so, but nonetheless, like I said, contact me. You can email me at freedomtherapycenter at gmail.com. Again, that is freedomtherapycenter at gmail.com. It's all one word. So, welcome back. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Danielle Bailey. And I'm your host, the YouTuber that comes on here. And I tell you guys my business for about 15 minutes or less, okay? Tell you what's going on. Tell you how I'm working. I do have, I'm going into my second year of full-time private practice. And, um... I just tell you, talk to you guys about some of the things that I want to implement. Like this channel really is to help people who want to open up a business to encourage you to open up that business. And for those of you who are actually going into private practice, like this business is to give you a window inside of what it looks like to operate um, a private practice and for you to learn from my mistakes so that you do not make those mistakes yourself. Okay, this is all what this channel is about. It's about transparency. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the review from last week. Last week I talked about my feelings and allowing my feelings to dictate how I move and stuff like that. And um, so this week I did a little bit better. I did have to go. No, I didn't. I didn't have to go home last week. I was trying to see if I had to go take. I ended up taking a nap one day in the middle of the day. I was just extremely, extremely for whatever reason tired one day i can't remember the day but i went and i took like a i probably was friday i don't know but i took like a two hour nap in the middle of the day or whatever because i was like super duper tired and um i got to figure out my schedule y'all um that's another thing your schedule and stuff like that i tried to really get a hold on it like i have client like now today I don't have that many clients to see. I seen one at night. I seen one at 10 a.m. and then I seen one. I see uh, see a, um, another young lady for supervision at five. So I have a big old break of not of no clients. And so like I'm recording. So you know like I'm recording those videos and I'm doing so like all of that stuff. Just tr when you start really work on your schedule, really make a time frame of when you want to work have that already worked out because it's like me i'm trying to i really i'm i'm trying to figure that thing out like i thought about actually like um trying to get a part-time job in in the midst of some of this so that they can take up some of the hours but then i'm like no so like yeah i'm still thinking about some of that or whatever but um i did start working on some of the policies and procedures um last week i was kind of like struggling with like trying to make it look a certain way and um like like looking like past jobs and stuff like that thinking about how past jobs policies and procedures actually look and me trying to make it look like that and me struggling so then it was just like don't worry about the aesthetics of the um policy of the paperwork just write the policies and if you if need be you can send it off and let somebody else doctor it up or whatever you just need to get it from here to paper so that's what i kind of did so I, I wrote like a couple of um i want to say probably about like probably like four or five of them up up there already i wrote it and so um i'm, I'm gonna finish off the rest of this this week that is my goal because I realized like right before I got on here to talk to y'all, I looked at last week's video and I realized I had said the date. I was just like, wow, like the month is almost over. And so I really need to get myself into gear because March 
not only do I need to get myself into gear, um, because the first week of March, I'm supposed to be going to Atlanta, um, for a, for the Millennial Social Work Conference, and I'm a speaker. And I don't have my presentation together. So, nonetheless, y'all, yes, your girl got to get all of this stuff together. So, it's going to be on the road, on the ball, on the move, this, the rest of these couple of weeks. Probably like two weeks, two and a half weeks is what I got left. My God. So, y'all pray for me. But, nonetheless, let's just go ahead and get into today's topics. And I want to talk about marketing via Facebook. Um, y'all... We have to really use the tools that are out there. And for my area, because of where I'm where I'm located at, we're still big on Facebook. I know in some other areas, like y'all are big on Instagram. Some areas are big on Twitter and stuff like that. But where I'm at, like we're still really using Facebook and things of that nature. And so um, people are still going Facebook Live and, you know, all of that great stuff. So, like, we're still heavily on Facebook like, we're kind of migrating towards Instagram, but not as heavy as we are on Facebook. So, um, I was thinking today, on Tuesdays and Fridays, right, I go live in this group called She Is. And it's where, you know, I give advice from a therapeutic standpoint and stuff like that. And so, um, I want to say two things about that group. Consistent. One, one is consistent. Consistency with the videos. And two, like, it was, it's an opportunity for me to um, engage with new clients. And what I mean by that is, at one point, I was going in, I was going live in a group, and like, really wasn't that many people watching the videos, or either wasn't that many people logging into live when I, because I would go live and I would just talk. And so not that many people was going live with me. So, you know, but I just still kept on making them Tuesday and Friday, Tuesday and Friday. So then people started noticing me in the public. And so they were like, hey, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, and then, you know, they was like, oh, we see you in the She Is group. We see where you go live. And so, um, like, I'm not going to lie. I kind of stopped a little bit. And um, I want to say during the holiday season, like, I just end up stopping completely for, like, two to three months. And so now I'm jumping back into going live, going more consistently because, like, I realized that, you know, like, people were really watching it. Like, they may not watch it when I do the live, but they were watching it because, like I said, people start noticing me in public and start speaking to me, people that I didn't even know. And so it lets me, it let me know somebody's watching these videos, right? So it's like, you need to get back on it. You need to start doing it again. And so I started doing it again, like just as much as I'm putting these videos out consistently as my podcast, I need to do the same thing for you, um, for Facebook. So then I was just like, okay, when I go, I say, if I'm going live for them on a consistent basis in their group, I need to go live on my own business page. And I can talk about the same thing, basically, because some of, like, not everybody is in that group, you know? So I can, I can talk about the topic from that group, bring it to my business page, talk about it on my business page, start really establishing rapport with people, because a lot of people follow my business page, um, that's not necessarily just my friends, a lot, some, some potential clients actually follow my business page too. So what I need to do is... I need to start really making sure that I give helpful tips in a way for free. So that way people can know who I am and know what I'm about and know how I stand and know some of my practices and stuff like that. So if they can get some of that stuff for free, they'll be able to come more often to me. So like it really dawned on me today. It was just like, Danielle, if you're going live in their group, why can't you go live on your own personal page, on your own business page? So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go live on their page first, and then I'm going to turn right back around and go live on my um on my business page, and I'm going to talk about the same thing. So, because <laughs> the She Is group is solely, is women only. Women only. And so, like, I could just talk about it on my business page and share it. And that way, I have my whole social media engagement, and people know me. People know me and they'll start really starting to trust what I say, especially if they start some of these tips and a tips actually work. 
So, like, I have all of that going on, and I actually want to create, like, a, um, like, worksheets and stuff like that so that they can use. I have a lot of stuff that I want to do. I need an intern or something. I don't know. So, yeah, I got all that going on, y'all. But those are some tips right there. Um, another thing that I want to talk about is, y'all, making sure that we have our Psychology Today page and our Therapy for Black Girls um, pages or if you have any kind of monthly subscription page where you where you're putting yourself out there please go out there and update it it's a new year um because i know i need to go out and update my pages i need to update my therapy for black girl page um because they redesigned their whole website i need to update the psychology today page like all our monthly subscriptions Please go and update them so that people can know who you are. And I really need to update my page because I need to speak more to my ideal client since I really know what my ideal client really is now. So let's really just update those pages, okay? Um, another exciting thing that I have coming up this week, and I know I'm talking fast because my minutes are coming up, but um, another thing, exciting thing that I have this week is that I am going to a luncheon, a Black History luncheon at one of the um, the colleges down here, and it's uh, it's from well, it's a luncheon, and it's also like a meeting, so a whole networking event. So I'm going to go to that, and I'm hoping to get some really good feedback during that time. Um, what else? I have to be recredentialed by Blue Cross and the information is due on February 28th and I just got it today. Like, that's next week. <laughs> but Blue Cross recredentials everybody every three years, y'all. So, what it was, it's coming up. My three years is coming up. It really, my three years really is coming up. So, uh, three years is coming up to be recredentialed. So, I'm going to work on that. Um, I billed last week. So, billing is up to date, and what I have decided to do is just bill weekly. Every Friday, uh, I'm going to bill Friday morning, and the clients that I see on Fridays and Saturdays of their week will be billed the next week. Okay? So, billing up to date. Your girl got it done. Thank you, Jesus. Not going to pat myself on the back. I'm going to say thank you, Jesus. Um, What else? Oh, y'all, my budget planner and my daily planner shall be here Thursday. I'm excited about those. I'm excited. I'll probably do a um, recording of an unboxing. And I will... I'm working on now trying to get that stuff on my website. I'll probably just reach out to somebody to help me with this. And um, just really go ahead and get my website up to date and stuff like that. So, but nonetheless, y'all. I got all of this stuff that's going on. And I'm so excited just pray for me y'all make sure i get all of this stuff done and i will pray for you guys y'all just really start putting yourself out there more i know that some for some of us it's, it's difficult to really put ourselves out there more but what i'm learning is that we must do that in this field okay if we want to get clients we must do that unless you have a contract with somebody oh one last thing before i go I have been credentialed with another insurance agency, y'all. Like, yo, I think I'm going to start doing credentialing. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I think I'm going to start doing it. So, <laughs> if you need help with your credentialing, like, on the cold, contact your girl. And we can start. We, I think I'm just going to start doing it because, like, I feel like I've done it with several insurance companies right now. And, like, it's not, it's, it's time consuming. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's time consuming. But I can, we can, like I said, if you need help with your credentialing, please get, contact your girl and I, and, and with a, for a smile, for a fee, not a small fee, but for a fee, you know, we can work this thing out together. Like I can help guide you through it. I can help you fill it out, but you will have to do some of the follow up with some of the insurance companies. Like I said, I'll, I can follow up. You can follow up. We can tag team that thing at the same time. But nonetheless, y'all, that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video and if you um, if you like this video, make sure you thumbs it up. Write a comment below. Email me, freedomtherapycenter at gmail.com. Um, share this video with your friends. And I will see you next week. Bye later. What? Hello. Bye, y'all.